claustrophobia, insects, bats, darkness. These are the words that might come to mind whenever someone mentions caves. There's a reason why these places are only explored by very specific people. These places hide a lot of things. From the secret room of Mount Rushmore to witch marks, here are the 20 strangest things found in caves that change everything. Number 20. Secret Room of Mount Rushmore Most people in the world know about Mount Rushmore. It's an iconic landmark that can be recognized not only by people living in the United States, but people from all over the globe. With how renowned this landmark is, surprisingly few people know about the secret room in Mount Rushmore, a hidden cavern or chamber known as the Hall of Records. Mount Rushmore was the brainchild of Gutzon Borglum, a man whose life was as monumental as his work. Born in Idaho to a Danish immigrant, Borglum had already made quite a name for himself before he was even approached about the idea of carving an entire mountain in the Black Hills. After being erected, thousands of people immediately flocked to South Dakota's Black Hills just to get a glimpse of Mount Rushmore and the colossal sculpture showing the faces of four American presidents. And yet, most of them missed the fact that hidden behind Abraham Lincoln's hairline was a chamber that was designed to preserve essential historical documents, like the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. This inconspicuous and hidden passageway is known as the Hall of Records. Borglum envisioned the Hall of Records to take the breath away of anyone who steps foot in it. An 800-foot stairway would lead to the Grand Hall that measures 80 by 100 feet. A bronze eagle with an impressive wingspan of 38 feet would welcome visitors and the long hall would contain busts of famous Americans and citizens who contributed to science, art, and industry. Unfortunately, Borglum died before his vision was realized. His son tried to revive his father's legacy, but unfortunately, Borglum's plan never saw the light of day. And so, to this day, a 1,200-pound granite slab represents what could have been the incredible Hall of Records. Inside this wooden box are the U.S. Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, Borglum's biography, and short descriptions of each of the presidents on Mount Rushmore. Now you might want to try visiting this place, but it remains closed to the public to this day, and it'll most likely remain sealed for the following decades. Number 19. 11,000-year-old human remains in Northern Britain Earlier this year, archaeologists announced that they had discovered the oldest human remains in all of northern Britain. Hidden in the Heening Woodbone Cave were human remains and ancient artifacts. Researchers have declared that they discovered a minimum of eight individuals whose final resting place was within the depths of this cave. Among them were the skeletal remains of three adults and a child, dating back to the early Bronze Age, according to radiocarbon dating. Experts believe this cave was used as a burial site during three distinct periods in the distant past. The first was around 4,000 years ago, during the early Bronze Age. The second period of use was around 5,500 years ago, in the early Neolithic era. And lastly, the earliest burials happened around 11,000 years ago, during the early part of the Mesolithic period. One particular artifact, a shell bead, provided the key to unlock this historical mystery. The date on this bead was around 11,000 years old, suggesting it was likely used during one of these ancient burials. You see, while we have evidence of even earlier human remains from the southern parts of England and Wales, the harsh impact of past ice ages has made such discoveries incredibly rare in northern Britain. Number 18. The Mystery of Liangbois Cave If we're talking about the most mysterious cave in the world, then perhaps Liangbois rightly deserves that title. Liangbois often referred to as the Hobbit Cave, is a place that seems to have the peculiar ability to shrink mammals. Located on the island of Flores in Indonesia, Lingboa has captured the interest of archaeologists and historians since 2003 upon the discovery of a tiny species of human. Known as the Homo floresiensis, these creatures stood only about three and a half feet tall, earning them the nickname Hobbits. But these pint-sized humans weren't the only ones affected by the miniature trend. The fossils found in Lingbua reveal that many of the animals on the island, including elephants and giant rats, also experienced a size reduction over time, a phenomenon known as insular dwarfism. Scientists believe that the isolated environment of the island caused this bizarre shrinking effect. You see, when larger species such as elephants or even humans get marooned on islands, they're suddenly in an environment with limited resources compared to vast mainland habitats. 
Over generations, these species adapt to their new surroundings. Large animals tend to shrink in size, evolving into dwarf species to survive with less food and space. On the flip side, smaller creatures like rats evolve to become larger when their natural predators are absent. The mystery of the hobbits might be solved, but to this day, Liang Bua remains one of the most intriguing archaeological sites in the world. Number 17. Robber on the Loose What would convince you to live alone in a cave away from human civilization? Well, for Liu Mofu, a petty crime is enough reason to start a new life in a cave. In 2009, Liu lived in a cave in Enshi City, Hubei province of China. He was in his mid-30s when he made the mistake of robbing a gas station. Unfortunately for them, they only scored a measly 156 yuan, roughly $23. It wasn't worth the trouble, but the deed was done and the authorities were already hot on their tails. Police quickly apprehended Liu's partners in crime, and Liu, realizing he was next, made the drastic decision to disappear into the wilderness. He chose a solitary life in a small karst cave on a remote mountain, rather than face the law. Liu managed to live off the land, hunting and scavenging for food. He occasionally snuck into his village during big festivals, swiping some extra food and briefly visiting his parents. For security, he befriended a few stray dogs to help him ward off wild animals at night. Despite the loneliness and the constant fear of being discovered, Liu held on to this hermit-like existence for an astonishing 14 years. But for all those years, he missed out on the essential moments in life. His father's funeral, his son's wedding, and he never even got to meet his grandson. In February 2023, however, he had a change of heart. He probably couldn't stand living in isolation anymore. He led the police to his secret settlement, about six miles away from any human settlement. I think living in isolation for 14 years is already a way to repent for his crime, but authorities thought otherwise. The robbery, despite the small sum involved, is considered a serious offense, especially since weapons were used. Despite surrendering, Liu is still awaiting the court's decision on his sentence, which could range from 3 to 10 years in prison. Number 16. The Treasure 12 Caves are one of the hardest to reach locations on Earth. No one would dare explore these places randomly. It's no wonder that caves are among the most suitable hiding places. If you have a treasure, you can easily find a hidden cave tucked away from any nearby camp, trails, or settlements. Of course, somebody has already done this in the past. The Lemminkainen Hoard is a legendary treasure. Its story began in 1984 when a Finnish mystic, Eeyore Bach, made an intriguing claim. He stated that his family were the descendants of the mythical hero Lemminkainen, a prominent figure in Finnish pagan mythology. Now the real kicker here is he claimed his family had been guarding a colossal treasure hidden away in a sealed chamber in these very caves. And this is no ordinary treasure. We're talking about an eye-watering bounty of over $15 billion, featuring over 50,000 gemstones, life-size human statues made from 18 karat gold, and over 1,000 ancient artifacts. And yet, to this day, the whereabouts of this pile of treasure are still unknown. Number 15. A 21st Century Caveman I'll ask you again, do you think you'll be able to survive in a cave away from human settlement? This is a person that might show you that being a caveman in the 21st century is possible. Pedro Luca is a 79-year-old Argentinian who has made his home in a mountain grotto in Tucumán province for the last four decades. Since his early years, Pedro has been fascinated by the idea of living alone in the lap of nature. And so he did. He traded the chaos of civilization for the tranquil simplicity of cave dwelling, a dream he had since he was 14. He lives a simple life without modern technology or basic amenities like electricity, gas, running water, or a telephone. He treasures an old battery-powered radio, despite its infrequent signal reception in the mountains. His daily routine starts at 3 a.m. with the roosters crowing, lighting a fire, and savoring an all-organic breakfast. He spends his days hunting in the mountains or on a three-hour trek to San Pedro de Calalao. Pedro Luca truly embraces a self-reliant and adventurous lifestyle. Number 14. Radioactive Miracle Cure It's a sad reality, but some people need to hang on to pseudoscience just to find a cure for their illness. And many believe that the healing caves of Gastein will be one foolproof method to cure their illness. This cave is known as a health tourism spot, 
and this place annually attracts over 75,000 people seeking relief from various medical conditions, including arthritis and psoriasis. So what exactly does this cave have? Not miracle water, but radioactive radon gas. Yes, you heard that right, radioactive. Typically, you should stay away from anything and everything radioactive, but some people claim otherwise. It all started when the locals of Gastein began digging into the nearby Radosberg Mountain, hoping to find gold. Instead, they stumbled upon low levels of naturally occurring radon gas. What's stranger is the fact that the combination of this radioactive gas, the cave's high humidity, and temperatures reaching up to 41.5 degrees Celsius strengthened their immune systems and even alleviated several illnesses. Patients claim that just a few treatment sessions in the caves keeps them pain-free for an entire year. It's believed that radioactive gas, absorbed through the skin and lungs, activates the body at a cellular level and stimulates self-healing. However, the practitioners at Gastein firmly believe in hormesis, the principle that small doses of certain toxins can actually be beneficial, despite larger quantities being harmful or even lethal. I'll let you make the verdict on this one. Number 13. The First Underground Mountain Bike Course The last thing you'd expect to see inside a cave is a bike course, but I guess people are creative these days, and bikers are eager to find a new thrilling place to ride their bicycles. As they say, if there's a wheel, there's a way. Pun intended. Hidden in Louisville, Kentucky is an underground biking haven that spans a massive 320,000 square feet and it's completely located about 100 feet or 10 stories beneath the ground. The bike part, housed within the Louisville Mega Cavern, has over 45 trails, jump lines, pump tracks, BMX, cross-country, and single track, all tailored to satisfy your adrenaline needs. The Mega Cavern is an impressive man-made, privately-owned limestone cavern that occupies an area of 100 acres underneath Louisville streets. This cavern was initiated by Ralph Rogers back in the 1930s and has since evolved into a multifunctional space, serving as a business park, an entertainment hub, and of course, a major tourist attraction. The bike park has its grand opening in February 2015, earning the title of the nation's first underground mountain bike course and the largest indoor park ever constructed. Number 12. Carving a Cave Home What's with people wanting to live in caves? Seriously, here's another man in China who not only lived, but made his own cave. After his divorce, Chinese farmer Xu Wenyi yearned for a retreat, a sanctuary to disconnect from the world. So what did he do? Well, he picked up a shovel and started digging into the side of a mountain to create his own cave dwelling. A totally logical choice. Note the sarcasm. Xu was determined, and after six years of hard labor, his dream dwelling was ready. At the age of 57, Xu had already lived in his cave home for over a decade. What he made wasn't just a simple dugout, but a 100-foot deep, 13-foot wide mini cave apartment. The cave had been skillfully designed, complete with concrete reinforced walls and a proper front door. Inside, it's surprisingly organized and cozy. There's an 85-square-foot living room, a kitchen fashioned out of stone, and Shu even carved above in the walls to act as shelves for his personal items. Number 11. The World's Most Expensive Honey Now if you somehow manage to get a hold of even a morsel of this honey, everything will change. The world's most expensive honey, known as the Elvish Honey, is harvested from a cave almost 6,000 feet deep in the Serikayer Valley, nestled in the city of Artvin, northeastern Turkey. This honey has an eye-watering price tag of 5,000 euros or around $6,800 per kilogram. Now you might be wondering, what makes this honey so unique? Local beekeeper Gune Gundas, whose family has been in the beekeeping business for three generations, offers an explanation. According to him, the secret behind the high price of elvish honey is its natural production process. He noticed bees entering this particular cave back in 2009 sparking the realization that the cave might be a gold mine for honey. The first kilogram of this precious honey fetched an astounding 45,000 euros at the French Stock Exchange in 2009. A year later, it was even sought after by pharmacists from China who purchased a kilogram at 28,000 euros. Fast forward to the present, this elite honey is sold in smaller portions of 170 grams and 250 grams, priced at 5,000 euros per kilogram. 
Seriously, that honey might taste like the ambrosia for the gods, but I still wouldn't buy it. Except, of course, if I have an infinite money glitch. Then I'd be willing to spend a couple thousand dollars just for honey. Otherwise, bottled honey from Walmart is more than enough. Number 10. World's Smallest Mammal Weight If you were to venture inside a cave, you probably wouldn't even notice this bat. Meet the bumblebee bat, or as scientists call it, Kitty's hog-nosed bat. This little marvel holds the title of being not just the smallest bat species on our planet, but possibly the smallest mammal in the entire world. You'll only find these creatures in a select few caves in Thailand and Myanmar. True to its name, the bumblebee bat is so minuscule that it could fit snugly on an average human finger. Just how small is it, you ask? This tiny flyer is as small as a thumbtack, measuring just over an inch long and weighing a mere 0.07 ounces. It's just a bit heavier than a typical paperclip, and its wingspan spans about 6.7 inches. Number 9. Woman Who Lived in a Cave for 500 Days The entire world was stopped in 2021, and one of the affected people was then 48-year-old Beatrice Flamini, an extreme athlete in Spain. In November of the very same year, Beatrice decided to enter a cave in Granada, Spain, choosing a life of solitude and disconnection from the rest of the world. You heard that right, she traded in her smartphone and Wi-Fi for stalagmites and bats. When she finally emerged after a mind-boggling 500 days, she had turned 50, and the world as she knew it had changed drastically. This isn't just a tale of self-imposed solitude, though. It was also a groundbreaking experiment as a team of scientists, including psychologists and speleologists, carefully observed her throughout the process providing insight into human endurance and adaptation to extreme isolation. When she re-emerged, Beatrice was all smiles, but had to wear sunglasses to shield her eyes from the daylight after so long in the darkness. So what did she do to pass the time in the cave? She read through 60 books, stayed active with exercise, explored her creative side through drawing, and even knitted wool hats. However, readjusting to the outside world was a challenge. Her senses were overwhelmed, causing her to lose her balance, and time seemed to lose meaning. She estimated her isolation to have lasted for around 160 to 170 days, a far cry from the actual 500 days. There were difficult moments too. She faced an invasion of flies that left her covered in tiny insect bites, and she even started to experience auditory hallucinations due to the prolonged silence. Despite these challenges, she described the experience in a positive light, I admire her because I know all too well I wouldn't be able to last in the same circumstance she experienced. Now would you do this challenge if you were to get dared? What would it take for you to accept this challenge? Do you think a million dollars would be worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. Number 8. The Fire Mummies One of the most intriguing ways of preserving the dead is mummification. One fascinating method was used by indigenous people in the town of Cabayan in Benguet province in the Philippines. The Cabayan fire mummies, also known as the Ibaloi mummies or the Benguet mummies, as its name suggests, are far from Egyptian mummies. The Ibaloi, an indigenous people in the Philippines, practiced mummification long before the arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century. Instead of the elaborate embalming methods used by the ancient Egyptians, the Ibaloi people used a special mummification process involving heat and smoke, hence the name fire mummies. The process was quite involved and could take weeks, even months. When a person was close to death, they would start drinking a very salty drink. This began the preservation process while they were still alive. After death, their body would be washed and then placed over a heat source in the seated position, essentially smoke cured. This low-heat, non-destructive fire would slowly remove all the moisture from the body. At the same time, herbs were burned, which helped to preserve the body and keep insects away. Once thoroughly dried, the body was rubbed with herbs and placed in a fetal position inside a specially made death chair. It was then bound with cloth and leather and placed in a burial jar or a coffin made from pine wood. The last step was placing these coffins inside the caves of Cabillon. Number 7. Roman Necromancy Cult The Romans held some bizarre beliefs, and necromancy was one of them. Recently, archaeologists discovered evidence of this practice deep in the heart of the Teoman Cave in central Israel, a curious mix of artifacts hidden within the cave's deep recesses that allude to rituals dabbling with death. 
Roman oil lamps, various pieces of weaponry, pottery fragments, and chillingly, actual human skulls have led some Israeli archaeologists to believe they've stumbled upon pieces of evidence of necromancy. Experts believe that between the 2nd and 4th centuries AD in the late Roman era, an elusive religious cult had set its base in the region. The cult members, they speculate, used the Teoman cave to conduct ritual ceremonies, which might even have involved human sacrifices. Archaeologists suggest that these chilling cave objects might have been tools for necromancy, a popular form of divination or witchcraft in the ancient world. Number 6. 30 Million Chinese People Living in Caves It seems like there's a trend of living in caves in China. With a population of over 1 billion, experts claim that about 30 million of these people live in cave dwellings. Most of these people live in the Shanxi province, where abundant porous yellow soil makes it easier to carve dwellings. Maybe there's a certain appeal in cave dwelling that we just don't see, but it's most likely financial problems that led some people to live in makeshift homes. Number 5. Mysterious 7,000-Year-Old Figurine Recently, archaeologists unearthed a rare clay female figurine in Body Frada Cave in Italy. The figure was an astounding 7,000 years old and was part of important rituals in the past. This discovery, exceptionally rare for this region, was most likely used in fertility and harvest rituals thousands of years ago. Number 4. Mysterious Man-Made Cave in Antarctica now here's one of the most intriguing things spotted in caves. This photo captured the attention of conspiracy theorists all around the globe in 2007. Here, you can see a cavern on Greenwich Island, with no clear explanation for its origin. This peculiar opening stirred up a whirlwind of theories and speculations. It sparked a frenzy, and then, just like a ghost, it vanished from Google Maps within six months, deepening the mystery further. Of course, Conspiracy theorists claim that the enigmatic hole has been dubbed by some as an extraterrestrial creature. In contrast, others suggest it might be a clandestine refuge for a covert government organization. These claims have fired up the imagination, but as for what the truth is, that's for you to decide. Number 3. Serbia's Caveman with a 400-pound boar Now here's another intriguing caveman, Panta, a man living in a cave in Serbia. What's special about him? Well, this man has a 440-pound companion, a boar named Mara. In his homeland, though, Panta's unconventional way of life has been making headlines for about half a decade. In the region around Petrovac City, in southeastern Serbia, he's a well-known figure. Panta divides his year between a secluded treehouse and an 82-foot-long cave nestled in the canyon of the Gratisnica River. He chose this lifestyle in a quest for a simpler, more primal existence, away from the complexities of modern civilization. At the age of 70, he spends his time caring for his many pets and basking in the unbridled joy and liberty that a life devoid of material possessions can offer. He claimed that he was once like other people who wanted human possessions, but he realized that they weren't worth anything. He realized that when his wealth decreased, so did his friends. And so, he retreated from the rest of the world and lived a simple but content life on his own. Honestly, the idea of living without Wi-Fi, a phone, and a proper bed sounds incredibly difficult. But perhaps, some people desire spiritual and psychological fulfillment more than anything. Number 2. The Cave of the Crystal Maiden The Cave of the Crystal Maiden, also known as Aktun Tunichil Muknal Cave, is one of Belize's most intriguing and hauntingly beautiful archaeological sites. It's located in the Tapir Mountain Nature Reserve. Aktun Tunichil Muknal is an ancient Maya ceremonial site. And when I say ancient, I mean it. Artifacts and skeletal remains found within the cave suggest that it was used between 1 AD and 1000 AD. But the real centerpiece is the Crystal Maiden, a fully intact skeleton of a young woman. She's believed to have been a sacrifice to the Mayan gods. The young woman's remains are estimated to be over 1000 years old, but due to the cave's conditions, over the centuries, her bones have calcified, giving them a sparkling crystalline appearance, hence the name the Crystal Maiden. Unfortunately, the Crystal Maiden is just one of the many people who abruptly died for what people thought was the greater good. And now it's time for today's topic. A man saw smoke coming out of a cave, and when he went inside, he shocked the whole world with what he found. The man discovered a burning torch, and yet not a single person was inside. 
When he shared this experience on the internet, many people claimed that perhaps he might have encountered an entity, or perhaps within the cave were the remains of a person sacrificed just like the Crystal Maiden. Really, exploring archaeological sites are fascinating, but it does get a little creepy if you think about how some angry spirits still might be staying in their final resting places. Number 1. Witch Marks Seeing these bizarre marks inside the cave is undoubtedly enough to make people feel a shiver down their spines. These marks may look like nothing but scratches and vandalism, but these are actually witch marks. These protective patterns were discovered inside the cave system of Creswell Crags in Europe. This place dates back to approximately 60,000 years ago, but it wasn't until recently that we discovered the marks left behind by people who sought refuge in the cave a long time ago. Known as witches' marks, or apotropaic marks, these patterns were etched on the cave walls and ceilings with the intention of keeping evil spirits away. What's strange is that these patterns can usually be found inside historic churches and homes. After all, it doesn't make sense for people to leave these marks inside a dark cave, but experts believe that Creswell Crags was a spiritual place for a long time. Lines, mazes, letters, and bizarre symbols cover the cave walls of Creswell Crags. The most common design you'll come across is the double V engraving, which some say symbolizes Mary, the Virgin of Virgins. The diagonal lines, boxes, and mazes, however, were meant to trap evil to prevent disease, death, famine, and bad harvests. Initially dismissed as mere traces of extreme vandalism, archaeologists now consider these patterns valuable. After all, these patterns were left behind by people who resided in the East Midlands, Central England as recently as 200 years ago. Who knows what else is lurking in caves out there? Did I miss any cave discoveries in this video? If you know about other bizarre things discovered in caves, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.